What is up, Nation? Noah here, back again today, and I'm not going to waste any time. Holy hell, do we have a lot of AEW figures to talk about. Um, if my quick math is correct, I believe we have 32 new AEW action figures to talk about. I didn't stutter. 32 action figures, and we got pictures of pretty much every single one, besides, like, one series. But we still know everybody's going to be in that said one series, so... It was a crazy day yesterday for FanFest, AEW. They put out a bunch of new stuff that's going to be coming in the near future. Uh, I assume that basically the second half of 2021. So, guys, there's a lot to talk about. I don't know how long this video is going to be. Might be a long one. Might get through it quick. I don't know, but I'm just not going to waste any more time. Let's go ahead and let me get into every single one of these AEW unrivaled, unmatched, ringside exclusive, all that good stuff, action figure reveals. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, so let's not waste any more time. Let's go ahead and get into these AEW reveals. So I apologize in advance if you hear me clicking away on my computer, but I need to still look at these reveals in order to talk about them. So first things first, let's start with the AEW related but not necessarily action figure thing first. And a huge reveal, we have the first ever AEW wrestling buddies coming to stores. Uh, I think a lot of people are excited for these. Actually, I'm pretty sure they're coming to stores or they might be ringside exclusive, but uh, I'm pretty sure they were stated to be coming to stores. But we do have the first series of AEW Wrestling Buddies um, announced. So first things first, as you guys are looking at, you have the Darby Allen right here, which I think looks absolutely great. Also in this set, you're going to have uh, Luchasaurus, which is another great one there. You're also going to have Kenny Omega, and you are also going to have the American Dream, American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. So I think this is an absolutely great set of 40 start, especially the Darby Allen and Luchasaurus, just because of their specific looks. They're just great for something like this. They're literally made for something like this. It's like Rey Mysterio and Jeff Hardy and those kind of guys. They're just made for this kind of fun uh, action figure or, or you know buddy or plush, you know whatever you want to whatever you know you want to call it. Just great stuff here. So yeah, the first ever series of AEW Wrestling Buddies going to be coming, I believe, in the fall winter of 2021. Again, featuring Darby Allin, uh, Luchasaurus, Kenny Omega, and Cody Rhodes. So stay tuned for that. But uh, up next, this is the kind of single figure we are going to talk about here outside of all these series that we have revealed. And that is this Amazon exclusive Chris Jericho action figure. The first AEW Amazon exclusive revealed. Um, there's been Amazon leaks that have not necessarily been, uh, that we can, haven't necessarily been able to pinpoint yet is exactly what they are, but they've, you know, been out there with, you know, very, uh, basic names and no pictures and stuff like that, but this is finally going to be the first Amazon exclusive AEW thing that we know is coming, that being this Chris Jericho figure, basically just looks like a variant of Chris Jericho's figure, uh, figure, excuse me, from Unrivaled Series 6. Um, looks like the same head scan, same pants, but he's got the pink jacket on, which, hey, I'm cool with. A uh, bit of a different variant. Maybe I'll have something. I think it would be cool if this had something on there, kind of like how Funko Pops do, where they have some kind of sticker or something on them just to differentiate, like this is an Amazon exclusive um, or something like that on the box. I think that would be cool. Um, that remains to be seen. Obviously, this is a loose picture of the Chris Jericho, uh, but we will be getting a Chris Jericho Amazon exclusive action figure coming soon. So now let's go in. I'm going to save the unmatched talk for last. We are going to talk about AEW Unrivaled Series 7 that uh, will be coming uh, very soon, of course. So here's the entire set right here. I'm going to go one by one. So first things first, you got my favorite of the set, no doubt. That being the first ever, <clears throat> excuse me, Murder Hawk Monster, Lance Archer. I think this figure looks absolutely great. I think the scan looks good. The red and black gear looks awesome. The hair looks great. The tattoo on the back looks great. I think they did a great job with this Lance Archer action figure. And I'm hoping um, it's, you know, on a, a, to scale of probably, you know, the same as like a Dustin Rhodes or John Moxley figures have been where they're definitely, uh, you know, a bit taller than the rest of them. I'm sure it will be. Um, so, you know, if that's there, then they definitely killed this figure. It's definitely my favorite of Unrivaled Series 7. So... Great stuff there with the Lance Archer. Moving on, we have the first ever Nyla Rose actual figure, which I think looks good. Um, not my favorite of the set, but for what it is, I think it looks good. I think the gear is definitely the best part here. The black and gold they did a good job on. Uh, so not necessarily any complaints. The head scan's a little eh. Uh, looks a little too, uh, I don't know, monstrous maybe? I don't know. Something, something about the head scan's a little, little weird for me. But overall, I think it's a good figure. Not a huge complaint necessarily. So yeah, we got the Nyla Rose first action figure coming in Unrivaled Series 7. Moving on, we'll talk about uh, the tag teams 
uh, I guess, you know, together one at a time. So first we have the Young Bucks getting another set of action figures here. New head scans uh, on these figures, of course. This is going to be their purple and yellow gear, uh, which I don't mind another, you know, Young Bucks. We're going to get repeats, guys. It's going to happen, and uh, I'm fine with it because, you know, there's so many guys, and the Young Bucks are one of them. Uh, they just have so many different gears and uh, so many different looks, and they're just, you know, one of the faces of the company. So I don't mind getting another Young Bucks here. I think the purple and yellow looks really cool. And uh, the Nick Jackson head scan I like more than the Matt Jackson. The Matt Jackson, I don't know, I feel like they just really haven't nailed the Matt Jackson head scan yet. But maybe these will look better. These are definitely just, you know, the uh, computer-generated uh, images for the most part. Uh, maybe once we get final mock-up images of these figures, you know, the, of the actual figures... I like the Matt Jackson a little more, but I think that I'm leaning more towards the Nick Jackson right here as the, the better figure. But definitely the Young Bucks in the purple and yellow. Good stuff for me, a thumbs up. And then we move on to the last two of Unrivaled Series 7, that being Cash Wheeler and Dax Hardwood. FTR getting their first AEW action figures. Very good stuff, man. I can't wait to pick these two up. I think they look pretty good for the most part. Um, the head scan, same thing. I'm not in love with them, but I think I, I do like them. I'm not in love with them. I think I'll like them better when we have final images and not computer-generated images. Um, but that's just me. Uh, the cool with the gear they chose. The white and red looks good, so no complaints there. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting their first AEW action figures. I, you know, really wasn't buying a lot of action figures during their WWE run, and then even near the end of their WWE run, I just obviously they, the revival wasn't doing much. I just didn't have any interest in picking up their figures. But AEW, I'm all in. No pun intended. So I'm definitely picking up. Uh, Cash and Dax here from Unrivaled Series 7. But let's move on to Unrivaled Series 8, which we don't have any images of, but we do know who is going to be in the set. As you can see right here for Unrivaled Series 8, we have the first ever Trent, Chris Statlander, and Chuck Taylor action figures all going to be getting their first figures in Unrivaled Series 8, so very excited for that. Always going to be excited when we get uh, first time in the line figure, so definitely no difference here. Three uh, that I'm looking forward to. And then we're going to be getting three figures that we've already gotten of people so far, which I'm cool with. Um, we have another Chris Jericho on the way. Should be interesting to see what uh, gear they do. We have a John Moxley on the way, which is this will be his third action figure. And then we have Orange Cassidy as well, which will be his second action figure. So that is Unrivaled Series 8 uh, coming your way there. But let's move on to, I think, uh, what a lot of people are talking about from uh, today's revealed and that being the first second and third sets of unmatched AEW unmatched we knew it was coming we finally know what who's going to be in series one uh, so one by one I'm going to go through everybody who's in unmatched series one then we'll jump to number two and of course as you're already seeing on the screen the first one is the Kenny Omega action figure from unmatched series one uh, we have an updated <clears throat> excuse me Kenny Omega oh, well you know I think this is a not necessarily updated but uh, definitely, you know, still a current gear. This is like, I'd say, you know, second half of 2020 gear. Uh, team with Kenny, te I would say team with Kenny Omega. Team with Hangman, Adam Page, stuff like that. Uh, definitely like the gear on this one. I like the hair as well. Good mix of the black and blonde um, in the Kenny Omega figure here. No complaints. Another uh, great Kenny Omega figure, in my opinion. Uh, the, the the Series 1 one from Unri Unrivaled Series 1 and the Ringside Exclusive uh, one that came with the uh, ring were probably, you know, they were the worst ones um, out of the... the three or this will be the fourth i think that got released so far uh but in my opinion you know series four unrivaled was great this is another great one and i didn't think those original figures were that bad anyway but yeah anyway unmatched series one kenny omega moving on we have dustin rhodes it's going to be the uh, third dustin rhodes actually we had the uh unrivaled series two then the blood brothers two pack now these updated uh dustin rhodes in the blue and uh, some red on the back of it there of course, I'm very much looking forward to this. Looks like we're going to be getting two different head scans as well. Uh, one with an open mouth, one with a closed mouth. Uh, so really look forward to that. Um, but yeah, no complaints. Definitely another uh, great figure. And uh, I, re I really like Dustin Rhodes in the uh, in the black and blue. Uh, definitely uh, looks good in uh, figure form. So I'm looking forward to that. Moving on, we have the first AEW action figure for Miro. Uh, of course, you know, Rusev in the past had uh, plenty of action figures in the WWE. But this is going to be the first Miro AEW action figure which I'm really looking forward to. The best man uh, camo attire looks good. The blonde attire looks good, or blonde attire, blonde hair looks good on him as well. And honestly, I uh, wasn't necessarily expecting a mirror figure today. I just, I'm not that, uh, I was ruling it out. I just honestly didn't even think, didn't really think about it that much. I think because I just had the, you know, the, 
a lot of the other names people are talking about, like Britt Baker and Lance Archer and staying in my head that I completely forgot about Miro, uh, and not even in a bad way. But I'm really happy we're getting this figure. I think the body looks good, and uh, I think this like I really like this uh, you know figure as is with these pictures. I think I'm gonna like it even more when you know I have it in person. So Miro coming out in Unmatched Series One looks good there. Moving on, we have the Darby Allen from Unmatched Series One. We have another updated Darby Allen with uh, a different uh, paint on him, as you can see. And it looks like he's going to be coming with two different skateboards. Or actually, no, that's one skateboard. Uh, not two different, but uh, you see on the front of it, on the uh, grip tape, it's got the face of the TNT. And then on the bottom, it's got the Darby Allen with uh, the half face, half skull uh, design on it. But yeah, definitely no complaints. This is a great Darby Allen action figure. Um, looks pretty, I mean, pretty similar for the most part, uh, style-wise, from his uh, Unrivaled Series uh, 3, I'm missing 2, uh, action figure, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, they did, it gave it an updated paint job, gear's a little different, got a new skateboard, so two thumbs up from me. I'm looking forward to picking up the Darby Allen uh, from Unmatched Series 1. Moving on, we have an action figure that a lot of people are looking forward to for a long time, and that being the first Britt Baker action figure from AEW. This definitely looks great. I'm really looking forward to this, as a lot of other people are. Definitely looking forward to displaying this with the Hikaru Shido when that comes in, the Riho, uh, the Brandy Rhodes, and you know other uh, you know women that will definitely we know are coming and will definitely be coming in the future. Um, definitely, again, a, a figure that a lot of people are looking forward to for a long time. Possibly the next AEW Women's Champion after tonight, so we'll see. But yeah, Britt Baker will be coming uh, in Unmatched Series One. I think we already kind of knew that, but we got the official reveal and first look at it today, so. Great stuff there. And then moving on to the last figure from Unma Unmatched, excuse me, Series 1. AEW is going to be doing LJN style action figures, guys. And the first one is going to be Cody Rhodes. As you can see, and uh, you know, the mock up images are from Ringside Collectibles, and the uh, picture of the box is from a uh, wrestling figure news source on Twitter. But they are legit doing. AEW style LJN figures and the cards in the boxes look on them literally look like the old wrestling superstar LJN figures. This is such a great idea, man. Like Jazzware is actually killing it, just hitting all cylinders of you know things that Jax used to do back in the day, and obviously you know for obvious reasons, and just you know things that used to make the diversity for wrestling collecting and wrestling figure collecting fun. And they're just you know first it was the wrestling buddies today, then it was this. Um, on top of just all the new stuff, like, great stuff here, great idea doing this, and, uh, just, just this mock-up image, you know, of the box looks great, obviously it's gonna look even better when we have a legit image of it, and the figure itself, man, just looks so fun, uh, the Cody looks like it's gonna be great for the collection, I can't wait to get these, man, uh, a part of Unmatched Series 1, and, uh, this, this might be one, this LJN, you know, style figure just might be one that, you know, I have to get one to open up, of course, because I let pretty much everything breathe, but the boxes might be so nice, I might have to get two sets. <laughs> we will see. We will see. Uh, uh, talking about the LJNs, of course. But there you go. Got the Cody LJN. So let's move on to Unmatched Series 2. This is going to be awesome. So first things first, as you see on the screen, we will kick it off with Santana and Ortiz getting their second action figures from AEW. I absolutely love the gear that was chosen. I believe Matt Goldberg um, from the wrestling figure community, a lot of people know him, uh, has done some work uh, for AEW and Jazzwares in the past, for Ringside Collectibles, his own stuff of course, absolute legend in my opinion in the wrestling figure community. Uh, apparently he actually picked the gear out for these figures, which is absolutely great, uh, great stuff there. I love that you know he's getting involved uh, and stuff like that. He, he really deserves it. But on top of that, just Santana and Ortiz, big fan of these guys, and these figures look even better, in my opinion, than their Inner Circle gears, because these are more Santana and Ortiz, less Inner Circle, um, you know, attire, and I'm, not, not that that's a bad thing, I just, I think these look great. The gear, the camo, and the orange look great on Santana, same thing with Ortiz, and I love Ortiz head scan with the bandana, uh, they just did an absolute great job here. So two amazing action figures coming in Unmatched Series 2, the second ever Santana and Ortiz, excuse me. Moving on, we will move on to MJF, another guy who will be getting another action figure in Unmatched Series 2. Um, obviously, you can't see what gear he is wearing yet, but he does have that uh, black, red, and uh, the patterned robe on. I, this is definitely from one of the pay-per-views in the last year. I don't know which one off the top of my head. If I you know, pinpointed what robe that was from, I could probably pinpoint what gear is underneath. But I just don't know off the top of my head. Somebody can let me know in the comments if you do. But yeah, we will be getting another MJF from what we can see. 
looks, you know, good. And MJF's figures, uh, both both of them so far have looked good as well. So no complaints there. But we will drift off from MJF to MJF's heavy. That being Wardlow. Wardlow getting his first action figure. This looks bad, freaking ass. I am really looking forward to Wardlow, man. Um, the head scans, you're in two of them here, look great. The dude is absolutely jacked in real life, and his figure is absolutely jacked as well. The singlet looks awesome, man. They did a great job with this Wardlow action figure. I think it looks badass, in my opinion. Can't wait to have this in the collection, displaying it alongside an MJF. Uh, it's going to look great. So, uh, good stuff there. Moving on for Unmatched Series 2, we will have the first ever Ty Conti action figure, which I know a lot of people are excited about as well. Another, fi another figure, man, that just... Looks really good. Uh, the head skin, you've gotten two different ones uh, with the hair. looks really good. The detail on the hair from the light to the, the darker blonde uh, looks great. And I'm a big fan of the green gear as well. Looks like green was one of the themes <laughs> for this uh, you know, line with uh, Wardlow having some, Ty Conti having some, Santana Nortiz having the camo. Um, but, you know, yeah, I'm fine with that. I really don't care. But, uh, yeah, Ty Conti going to be getting a first action figure. More women coming, uh, to, you know, in our, our figure collection today. I believe you had four revealed overall today. So, that's two thumbs up for me, man. Good stuff. And then moving on to the last figure for Unmatched Series 2. The Icon Sting will be getting his first AEW action figure. This looks freaking awesome, dude. I am so excited to have Sting in my collection for Unmatched Series 2 for AEW. He's got that first AEW shirt on. The jacket looks absolutely impeccable. The head scan, honestly, in my opinion, looks really great as well with the face paint. Uh, I think they did an absolutely amazing job on this thing. And this is, like just like I've said with a few figures so far, this is going to be one of the figures that I think looks great in this, you know, computer-generated image, whatever you want to call it right now. But I think I'm going to like it even more when I have it, you know, in person and we have the physical, you know, figure um, release and stuff like that. I can't wait for Sting, man. I'm so glad he got revealed today. And uh, Unmatched Series 2, man. Hopefully, <laughs> I don't know when the first un Unmatched Series ships, but I already can't wait for Series 2 because I can't wait to have Sting. So, great stuff there. And then moving on from that, we have Unmatched Series 3, which we don't actually have images of the figures yet, but we do have who is in the set. As you guys can see, we got a Dark Order themed set for Series 3, which I think is a great idea a great idea to incorporate the first ever AEW Brody Lee action figure, man. Um, I was not necessarily against, I just thought Brody Lee maybe deserved a special ringside exclusive, you know, for his uh, first AEW action figure, possibly his first and only AEW action figure that remains to be seen, but the fact that he's going to be in the new Unmatched set and the entire set, uh, minus the LJN figure, which is the great out guy here. That is actually going to be Darby Allen, um, which is the, you know, like I said, the mystery of this graphic. But the rest of the normal figures in this set is all Dark Order themed. Two thumbs up from me, man. I'm really looking forward to it. But obviously, you guys can see who is going to be in Unmatched Series 3. That being Brody Lee, Anna J, Evil Uno, John Silver, and Stu Grayson. And then of course, like I said, the mystery will be the second LJN. Um, that they're doing, and that being the Darby Allen. So, great stuff for Unmatched Series 3. Can't wait to see what those figures look like uh, there. And then I believe the last thing we have to talk about is this what you are seeing on your screen right now. We have yet another AEW authentic scale ring on the way. It is going to be a double or nothing ring. And the best part is we have Aubrey Edwards. We have our first AEW referee action figure, and that is going to be Aubrey Edwards, man. Great stuff, man. This is the stuff that us wrestling figures want, uh, wrestling figure collectors want, excuse me, the different characters, you know, the people that make AEW, you know, whole, you know, in, in our figures, uh, in our figure collections, and on TV, the referees, the announcers, the commentators, all that stuff, and they're kicking it all finally with Aubrey Edwards. Um, it it kind of sucks because it's like, I really don't need another authentic scale ring in my collection, however... Uh, you know, it's cool to have for the collection, and I get Aubrey Edwards out of it, so I'll probably end up getting this. If not, I'll just buy Aubrey Edwards, you know, off secondary market or something like that. But I'll probably just end up buying the whole damn thing. But yeah, we have another, another double or nothing, or I should say another AW Authentic Scale ring on the way. Double or nothing themed, and this will include an exclusive Aubrey Edwards action figure. But guys, that is it. We got through it. We got through every single AEW reveal today. 32 action figures, uh, four wrestling buddies, and a new ring. Uh, so that <laughs> we got a lot of good stuff today. 
Uh, my hat is off to Jazz Wears. They did an absolutely great job keeping just keeping my excitement alive, man. Like over the last year with AEW figures, you know, it's been a an up and down ride for a lot of people not finding the figures in stores, this, that, and the other. But like I've always say, man, Ringside Collectibles is your best friend with the AEW action figure line. It's been my best friend. It's the reason I have everybody from series one through five and six on the way, minus the chase and rare figures. I mean, that's I have a complete AEW collection minus the Chase and Rare figures, and it's all thanks to Ringside, and it's going to continue that way because I'm not putting my money on Walmart and Target and wherever else. Ringside, I'd rather just support them, give them my cash, and uh, go about my way and wait for the figures to come in the mail. But I can't wait for all this stuff that we got coming out, guys. It's going to be absolutely great. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys are going to be picking up from all the Unrivaled, or excuse me, all the AEW reveals today from the Unrivaled series, the Unmatched series, the LJNs, the Wrestling uh, Buddies, the Ring. Let me know in the comment section below what you're going to be picking up. And guys, go follow my new Instagram as well for the content where you guys can uh, see, you know, be I guess you can kind of say behind the scenes and more toy-related things and stuff like that. At Noah Nation Vlogs on Instagram. Go follow that account. Um, we're going to be posting stuff on there all the time. But guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back tomorrow with a new Ringside Collectibles unboxing video. And I'll see you guys then. See you guys in the next video. Peace.